What is going on, guys? Samurai Solo here, and I am back with EA Sports UFC 3. Again, some fights with Jorge Masvidal. First fight here, we're facing Steven Wonderboy Thompson, and man, I could feel how rusty I was. I know I posted a couple of videos up not too long ago, Jose Aldo. I think I did another one, I forget who already, but those videos were actually recorded quite a while back than when I just uploaded. I just recently uploaded them, but they were recorded a while back. I've been playing too much Tokyo Zana do Mortal Kombat 11, and a couple of other games. So I could definitely feel the rust here. And I haven't played well to win a little bit either. But yeah, Masvidal feels great in this game. He's really good. But the, for me, at least personally, it seems that sometimes he lacks power. It seems like sometimes I can well on the guy all day and just can't get that finish sometimes. But he has really good stand-up. His ground game is, is uh, solid enough. It's not amazing, I don't think, but it's fine. And we're facing Wonder Boy here. And this guy is really staying in my grill with Wonder Boy. I was really surprised by that because Wonder Boy has 99 footwork. You know, you can glide with Wonder Boy in this in this game. He moves really well. I would, you know, personally, if it was me, I would use more of a counter game with him. But he is, even though we, stay, uh, we rock him there, though, we slipped him there. He's not getting too greedy, so to speak. He's not throwing insane. He's staying in my grill, but he's not throwing crazy punches. He's keeping, like, pretty short combos. See, like, just one, two right there. It's mostly usually two strikes I'm noticing. And he is using head movement, so you got to be careful with that. As he gets rocked again, I think he was about to try to do some head movement there and mistimed it. Either that or he was about to throw his own strike and got interrupted by me. Ooh, I threw a very risky leg. I, I, and he gets rocked a third time, though. I don't want to I don't want to go crazy. I want to keep my stamina good. Catch him again with a nice left hook. Yeah, if I had gotten rocked that many times with Wonder Boy, I would be. That's enough. I'm making him come to me. <laughs> I'm hanging back. I don't care. And he kind of is doing that a little bit, but as you see, he's starting to come forward again already. He is probably expecting me to be one of these players that throws a bunch of strikes that he was going to be able to slip out of and work, work, uh, work on my stamina, you know, drain my stamina low, but he couldn't. And he gets rocked again, but good head movement there. He's doing some nice head movement when he gets rocked, and just in general, too. See, right there, he ducked under that. That was very nice. There's not much time left, so I'm just like, let's watch my stamina. See, we kind of, ha I have a little bit of a stamina advantage, a slight one, but his head is messed up. I know he's had, how many times did we rock him? Four, five times there. So look at the stats here, five rocks. We threw less, uh, we actually, we threw around the same number of strikes, but we landed more total and six. So, and with five rocks, you know, that doesn't matter how much he, if, even if he did outland us, that's our round all the way. But man, I was surprised, no drop though, but five rocks. There we go. We slip him again. And uh, he, he slipped over. He ate that hook. He did slip on the opposite side, though, but he still takes some damage from that. Good duck by him there. Like I said, he's, still, he, he's had some nice head movement. He's doing some good work. I just think he had the wrong strategy with Wonder Boy here, just kind of staying in my grill like this. And man, beautiful timing by him. There's me throwing a ridiculous strike. First of all, I didn't even really need to throw number one. Number two from just too far out, like always. <laughs> and then I get picked apart right there. That was just that was that was a great strike selection by him. Great timing like that. Those are things I love in this game. Someone misses that badly and you make him pay like that. That was perfect by him. And now he's got me uh, find a little aggressive there. It felt like I wanted to get him back, but then I told myself to calm down. But he stays there. He decided to stay there with me, and he he really should not have done that. After he dropped me, he should have kind of played keep away for a little bit. Like I said, he did get a drop on me there, but I just think it's the wrong strategy with Wonder Boy to fight with him like this, just to stay straight. I'm not saying you have to run away the whole entire time, but a little movement, fighting on that back foot a little bit. 
making your opponent miss some strikes, trying to kick him. That's what I would use a lot, that lead body side kick. When they come in on you, try to counter and then get aggressive later. But And we catch him again with that. So he's expecting a body shot or a leg kick after that. Catch him with that jab, lead, head kick. I love that combo. Man, he knew. He's smart. See, I went the... I thought he was going to slip over, so I led with the hook that time. He knew to pull back that time instead. Nice body kick there. Yeah, Wonderboy's got those long legs. I thought I was out of range of that one, but not quite. Oh, and I get rocked again. Good job by him, man. He's been rocked. He was rocked five times in the air. He's rocked again now. Let's see if we can get him here. Yep. Three piece in a soda to the body there. And that's it. That is it. Yeah, see, that's the thing. He was When he got rocked, he was really good at using head movement. He would always slip or duck under one of my strikes. But you have to pay attention to your body, too. Throwing three body hooks in a row is not something I would recommend players do. Because against anyone that kind of knows what they're doing or if they're expecting it, you're going to get uppercutted badly. But... I decided to go for it because I knew how much head movement he was using. It worked. We got the body rock on him. We got another body rock on him. And then he thought I was going to throw the, another body kick there. And we th we've we been hitting with this. We were hitting with this uh, this combo before earlier a couple times. Jab, lead, head kick. It's very nice. And you see the stats for round one. As we already saw, there's round two. They were actually pretty close. A lot closer than the first round. But we did too much damage in that first round. And we were able to get him out of there. But that was a fun fight, though. It was a good one. Enough for this one. Be back with the next. All right, we are facing Cowboy Donald Cerrone. Man, what a resurgence Cerrone has had. Cerrone's a crazy fighter, man. Sometimes he looks like he's almost done. Then he looks amazing. Because if y'all remember, he had lost like, what, three? He had lost to Leon Edwards. He lost to Robbie Lawler. Who else? Was it Jorge Masvidal? There was, there was, you know, he had like a bad string of losses. And now he honestly looks the best he's ever looked in his entire career. I mean, he looks that good. I've never seen him look so good. I know he attributes a lot of it to his son. You know, he said he has someone to fight for now with his kid. And I know he doesn't train with Greg Jackson anymore. I, I see him training with, uh, oh man, what's his name? Come on, the kickboxer. It's on the tip of my tongue. Joe Schilling. Joe Schilling, and I think that's really helped him too. Because he just looks like, man, he looks incredible. I mean, you saw what he did to Ali Quinta. I actually thought Al was going to eventually knock Cerrone out, and Cerrone just dominated him. Al had his, a few moments here and there, but... If for the most part, it was pure domination by Cerrone. And I think it's confirmed, although I'm not 100% that Cerrone's going to be fighting Tony Ferguson. Oh, my goodness. Fight of the year. I'm going to definitely order that pay-per-view, whatever, which one it's going to be on if that happens. And Cerrone in this game is actually really good. His, his, he has, his perks are crazy. He has the butcher perk for body kicks. He has the headhunter perk for head kicks. I believe he has heavy hands level four as well. His ground game is sick. He has that like two-stage triangle choke. Offensively, he's a, he's, a, he's a whirlwind of offense in this game. I mean, you can do some damage to people in a hurry, and you can mix it up. You know, you can, hit him with, you can hurt him with your hands. You can hurt him with your kicks. You can hurt him with, with your knees to the head, to the body. And then, like I said, the ground game is great as well. But Cerrone's one bad thing is his body health is an 80. That's the lowest it can pretty much get in this game besides like maybe one or two other fighters that might have stats lower than that. Like I think CM Punk might be like a 78 or 79 in something. But 80 for the most part is pretty much the lowest. So, And you see me now digging that left hook there. So that's something you want to do against a Donald Cerrone player, especially if they're being a little over aggressive, already wasting their stamina. Hit them to the body here and there too. To make it even worse and do some damage to it. And I think Cerrone's chin is only like an 87 or 88. I forget the exact number. That doesn't sound bad, but most, you know, the elite fighters in this game, chins are like in a 90, 90 plus. So that is actually bad. But uh, there's me again whiffing, on the, whiffing terribly on the kick and giving up a free takedown. I don't know why I kept doing that to myself. Like I said, guys, too much Mortal Kombat 11, man. Too much rust. He tries to get that side setup. We're not having it sprawl out. Block him there. There's not much time left in this round, so. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Stay 
All right. That was a good first round. Let's see what the stats say here. Assuming I show them, this is post commentary. I forget if I show these or not. <laughs> I guess I did. We weren't. I went in the mood to look at the stats. There we go, straight right to the body, followed by the left hook. Oh, there's me whiffing again. There we go, there's a nice combo there. Oh, why why do I keep doing that? It's so frustrating. I was frustrating playing and then watching it back now and talking over it. It's very frustrating seeing myself do that. And I'm not too sure why this guy's putting himself on the fence here. This is not the right strategy. He's lucky I'm not using someone like Tyron Woodley or Mike Perry or a big power puncher. Not that Jorge's weak in this game, but like I said, sometimes it feels like it can take a while to get rocks. And as soon as I say that, we drop him right there, though. He took too many. He's got to get off that fence. I don't know why. I don't know if he's trying to just uh, lure me into something, but since he's already been dropped, I would... First thing, look, look at that. He has a... I backed away. He had a, easily a chance to circle off that fence. He's rocked again. Jab, uppercut, left hook straight. And that is going to do it. Yeah, we had a pretty good first round, but for some reason, that second round, he felt the need to hang on the fence, and, you know, that was a bad strategy. See the stats for the first round, you know, fairly even. Definitely our round, though. And then as you see round two, though, we just uh, we took him apart there. I mean, he eight of th eight to 31 landed. That's crazy. All right, here we are facing Nick Diaz. Yep, I'm going to be kicking those legs on Nick, especially like, and I'm really surprised by this guy. I'm trying to figure out what he's doing here because, well, now he's getting aggressive. You know, with Nick, you want to stay in someone's grill. You want to pressure fight with him because he's, his, boxing is, his boxing is crazy in this game. Nick does have some faults, though. I mean, the main thing is his leg health is terrible in 80, and their takedowns are bad, but that's about it. Great cardio, great boxing, great jiu-jitsu. Hard as heck to put away in this game, so they have a lot of good things going for him. And I lean into the Stockton slap there. That was funny. Thought he was going to throw that jab again. And there we go. We hit him with some nice strikes there. And yeah, I'm not too sure what. Like I said, he's willing to keep backing away so much. There we go. We kick him in the body again, make him miss that overhand. Yeah, with Nick, what you want to do is just keep good pressure. You know, you don't have to be right in someone's grill, but like, you know, stay, make him uncomfortable. Drop the one-two a lot and drop the, the, you know, the jab, jab straight and jab hook. Which should, those should be the money punches right there. Keep it simple with Nick. And then, of course, if you got him standing still there for a little bit, rip a couple shots to that body because Diaz has body snatcher level five, which is just insane. I mean, you can do you can do damage to someone in a hurry with the body snatcher perk with Nick. But this guy's like, look at that. He's like using lots of sideways movement and backing away a lot with Nick. And now his leg got hurt there. And he's throwing kicks with Diaz. That's another thing I would recommend to do a ton. Not that it's, you know, because the Diaz are much kickers in real life and in this game. Although Nick does have a couple things. You saw he has the axe kick. He has the spin kick to the head. I think he might have it to the body as well. But this isn't like Donald Cerrone kicking me, so I'm not, you know, I don't. And there, I set him up right there beautifully. I was like, he's going to do it again. Let's get him to throw it. Whiff on it. Overhand him. And I was surprised he was still rocked. Look at that. He is still rocked. But I'm just taking my time. I keep, I've keep I've uh, kept it very basic so far in this round. Throwing a lot of strikes, but just keeping it simple. And all of a sudden, it just went to lag right there. I don't know what happened. It was perfectly clear before that. It's been known to happen, I guess. 
Make a miss on that. And look at that. No stamina. He's still coming at us. Yeah, you see the stats there. We threw around the same, but we outlanded him big time. And we got a rock. Uh, rock to his head and then uh, hurt his leg as well. So easily our round. Still, uh, we rock him with that uppercut. There we go. Head kick rocks him. Keeping it simple here. Not rushing. Because he's just throwing the craziness. And I know he's going to whiff on something and just miss like that. And then now he's hook spamming. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna bother trying to pull back on those hooks or duck under him. Just let him throw him and waste his stamina. We'll be fine. That jab, no good. Slip straight him there. Fall with a left hook. This guy was pretty much all over the place, and there's a little lag once again. And that head kick drops him. Thought he was gonna be done there, but that's Nick in this game, man. He he can take a lot of damage. Just like in real life, you know. Diaz Bros are known for take, being able to take it, man. But man, look at that. We are just ripping shots on him, and he's just kind of hook spamming us there. Watching for the overhand or, yep, head kick. Ended up being an overhand. Straight right. <laughs> uh, and that's going to end it. Yeah, I don't think this guy knew too much what was going on, really, the way he was playing, but that was a good fight to have, you know, uh, from being rusty. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. I'll, um, I, I said I was going to do a Kimbo Slice one, so I think that's who I'll probably do next. I haven't played those matches at all yet, so I'll probably have that sometime next week. Been wanting to check him out for a while now, but that is going to do it for this one. Hope you all have a great day. Catch you all next time. Peace. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Bruce Buffer has the